If you were watching BubbleCon on October 1st, you might have missed that it was also the OpenAI Dev Day. So here's everything that I think is significant for you as a Bubble app builder based on the very latest news and updates from OpenAI. The first is the introduction of the real-time API. If you've been using the ChatGPT app on your phone and you've been using voice and advanced voice mode, you'll be familiar with that how quickly AI has evolved from text chat where you send in a text message, you get a text message back, to now you can have speech to speech. That's the term they're calling it. So you speak to an AI and behind the scenes, it does everything that's needed to transcribe it, turn it into text, run it through the LLM as text, take the LLM's text response out and turn that back to audio and play it back to you speech to speech. Now the sad news is, is that this is going to use web sockets. So it's the same technology that's needed to stream content into an app. So that isn't currently supported by Bubble. Now the BubbleCon announcement from yesterday was that they would be supporting streaming. But I think there was an like an inferred sense there that that was streaming of text. It would be amazing if, if Bubble would uh, expand the API connector to support streaming of other media such as audio and video. But I think when they said it for early 2025, that's probably too much to hope for. So if you did want to work with audio and get audio back, I think you'll still have to go down the route of using the chat completion API. Uh, so they highlight that this is an option. You can now introduce audio inputs and outputs with chat completion API if you don't require the low latency benefits of the real-time API. So basically what they're saying there is that the real-time API is what's needed to offer that almost perfectly human-like instant response you get back if you speak to the, the chat GPT model through the app. Now this is something that you can do with VAPI. So do go and check out our previous videos on VAPI because VAPI is a API, it's a voice API, and it means that you can bring together different transcription providers, different LLMs, different text-to-speech to create a very quick, very low latency speech-to-speech -speech AI. And there are a number of plugins that allow you to embed that right into your bubble app. And the last thing I want to point out is prompt caching. If you've been working with OpenAI for a while now, you may actually have, you may be unfamiliar with prompt caching. And it's just a way of seriously reducing your costs down by indicating that previous parts of a conversation are going to stay the same. So if you've been working with Bubble and you've been working with OpenAI, you'll be familiar that you have to send across all of the previous messages in the conversation in order for OpenAI to have that really familiar contextual awareness. Well, if you start using the prompt caching parameters in your API calls, you should see a nice further reduction in the cost of using OpenAI. Last bit for me, if you're watching this video, it's because you've got an amazing idea for an app and you're trying to build it with Bubble. Well, if you want to accelerate that process and join an amazing community of Bubble app builders, click the link down in the description because we've got hundreds and hundreds of resources and tutorials for people just like you at planetnocode.com.